Hello. Today we are going to talk about one of the fundamental parts of how our planet functions. Plate tectonics. What are plate tectonics? Well, it's the scientific theory that was composed in the 1960s and 70s describing the constant movement of the Earth's lithosphere. The lithosphere is the top layer of Earth's surface containing the crust and uppermost part of the mantle. The theory states that the lithosphere is composed of multiple tectonic plates and that each individual plate moves at a different speed and in different directions, therefore ever changing the surface of planet Earth. In Earth's case, we have seven major plates with multiple minor plates spread around. The seven major plates are the African plate, the Antarctic plate, the Indo-Australian plate, the Eurasian plate, the North American plate, the South American plate, and finally, the Pacific plate. Here is a map showing the major tectonic plates. As you look over the map, notice where the plates meet and the geographic features located in these areas, such as mountains or volcanoes. Now, what is a plate boundary? Wherever you have the meeting of two plates head to head, you have a plate boundary. Depending on the type of boundary present, decides the types of geographic features one will find in that area. There are three different types of boundaries possible. The first type of boundaries that we will talk about are convergent boundaries. A convergent boundary occurs when two plates collide into one another and one plate is forced underneath the other. The area where this happens is called the subduction zone. There are three types of convergent boundaries possible. The first is an oceanic continental convergent boundary, where the less dense oceanic crust is forced underneath the more dense continental crust. The next one is an oceanic-oceanic convergent boundary, which involves the collision of two oceanic crusts. The third and final type is a continental-continental convergent boundary, involving two continental plates. The geographic features associated with convergent boundaries are mountains and mountain ranges, such as the one you see on the right, where the Nazca plate is being pushed underneath the South American plate to form the Andes. Volcanoes and island arcs are also common features associated with subduction zones. Last but not least, earthquakes are commonly found along divergent boundaries. Some examples of Earth's convergent boundaries are the Himalayas, the Aleutian Islands, the Andes, the Mariana Trench, and the Pontic Mountains. The next type of plate boundary that we will talk about are transform boundaries. Transform boundaries take place when two plates slide, or more literally, grind, past one another in opposite directions. The fracture zone in between the plates is known as a transform fault. The geographic features found along transform boundaries are faults, like the ones shown on the right of the San Andreas Fault running through someone's backyard. Reoccurring earthquakes are also very typical along transform boundaries. And Unlike other plate boundaries, transform boundaries usually lack volcanoes. Some examples of transform boundaries are the San Andreas Fault, which is probably the most commonly known example, the Alpine Fault, the Dead Sea Transform Fault, the Shaman Fault, the North Anatolian Fault, and the Queen Charlotte Fault. The last types of boundaries to discuss are divergent boundaries. Divergent boundaries are what we get when two plates move away from one another, creating a gap in between the two plates. As this happens, the space in between the two plates is filled with molten lava that eventually hardens. The geographic features usually associated with divergent boundaries are mid-ocean ridges, continental rifts, which create rift valleys, and volcanoes, created by the rising of molten lava, as shown in the photo on the right of the April 2009 eruption of La Cumbre Volcano. Examples of divergent boundaries found on our planet are the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the Great Rift Valley, which is responsible for the Red Sea Lift and the East African Rift, 
Explorer Ridge, the East Pacific Rise, the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, the West Antarctic Rift, and the Galapagos Rise. Thank you for joining me in learning about tectonic plates.